Today we are going to show you what we are doing at TAPS. James Mayunga. I'm coming from Tanzania Adventist Primary School. I'm in Standard Six. My name is Shams Hassan. I'm coming from Tanzania Adventist Primary School and I'm in Standard Six. I'm going to talk a little bit about our school. In our school we have two laboratories which are science laboratory and computer laboratory. If you see your child is not well on that, when you bring him or high in our school, he or she will understand. In our school, and in spiritual matters we are well and also we have been taught well by our teachers and others and also we got our strong parade which is Pathfinder. It is strong and enough and also we used to do some activities which give, gives us strength. Maybe at your home place your child is lazy but when you bring him or her in our school he, he or she will understand well how to work how to make his or her body being active and doing other works. So if you bring a child in our school, he or she will understand what to do. My advice to you, bring your child to TAPS and you will never regret it. Thank you. Hi, hello, my name is Promise Emmanuel Omari. I'm from Tanzania Adventist Primary School. Today I'm going to give you a short story about how Jesus cares. The verse of today is coming from the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 34 verse 7. I read it, it says, The angel of the Lord encamps around all who fear him and delivers them. Before I start my sermon, let us pray. Our Father Lord who live up above in heaven, thank you for this moment, thank you for this time. Now, as your people are going to hear your word, please, may you help them, guide them, and bless them. In your mighty name I pray, Amen. The sermon of today says, God cares. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus. The story is as follows. In a certain country, there were two children, Alicia and a fellow who was called Hannah. There were two best friends who lived close. One day they were going to, the, to a camp which was performed once per year on only one day and at night. Now as, we are, as they were walking to go onto the camp, the sky was almost dark. They were wondering what shall happen. Alicia asked Hannah, So, did you hear any news today? He says, yeah, a tornado is going to fall on our country. He asked, what is a tornado, for example? He says, it's, a, it's like a big black finger that falls on a place and destroys things. Then, he said, he said to, Al to Alicia, let's just go because we have our courts with us. They were there in the camp and they were singing some songs. They were very enjoying. 
Then when they were there, they heard a crash of thunder. They went on singing. Then the rain, a heavy rain started falling. A very heavy rain started falling down. Then they started to tremble. And one young man came inside the camp and told the pastor, please take all the children to the cave area because the tornado is going to fall on our camp. Ah, the children were very afraid. But, past, but their pastor told them, do not be afraid. Be strong, because Jesus is with you. So, they all went to the cafeteria following their teachers. When they were there, the pastor prayed. After praying, he says, he said, now I want to listen that your voice or the voice of rain, which one is much louder? So the children, so the children sang a song and they sang it very loudly because it was like a game. Then after there, a teacher who was a female came to them and they thought it's time for story because she was a very nice storyteller about Bible stories. Then when she was there, she says, I have good news. God has answered your prayers. So the tornado has fell two miles away from here. They all praised the Lord and the pastor prayed to thank the Lord. So in this story, we can see that the Lord tells us we should not fear. If anything has happened into our life to become wrong, we should not fear because most of the people die because of fear. They have, for example, people have debts to pay and they're not able to do so. They have fear. But when we trust on the Lord, He is the rock of ages. Even though when we die, we shall have hope because Jesus is our, is our salvation. Thank you. May God bless you. Let us pray as we have completed our story. Let's pray. Our Father, Lord, who live up above in heaven, thank you for this moment. Thank you for this time again. Lord, thank you for helping these people to hear your word. Now, let them believe in you and let them not fear. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. May God bless you all. Knock, knock, knock. Is there anybody here? Knock, knock, knock. Is there anybody here? Can I get some food? Before getting the some food, go and wash first your hands because where, they are dirty. Where can I go to wash my hands? There. Where? There, you just turn around and then you see the table. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, very sorry, the blind man. The food is over. Oh, my daughter, I'm so very angry. Oh, what a piece of rice. We are sorry. I'm sorry, the food is, is over. over. Maybe you call them the next day. Oh, Lord, help me. Why can I eat the food? I'm so very angry. I'm hungry. Where can I get the food? Maybe. Knock, knock, knock. You are welcome. Oh, thank you. Some food or, or just a piece of stones. I'm very hungry. You can, you can get food, but go and wash your hands first. Okay. I'm ready. You have already cut down. Just Go and wash again because you have already cut down. Your hands are still oh, dead. Please, Go and wash again. Like <laughs> okay, I've already washed my hands. Please give me some food. I'm very hungry. Please. Oh, we are sorry. The food is over. Oh, please, even if you have another, please give me. Please. We are sorry. The food is over. Maybe you come next day because even now money is, we don't have much money. Maybe you come the other day. Hello, in this drama we can see that those disabled 
and blind man came here and begged the food, but he was being told to go and wash hands. When he came back, he was being told to wash hands again. When he came back, he was being told the food is over. How can you imagine? A blind person, how can he see the where are the waters? And then, and then he was being told to go and wash. And then and a disabled person, he was being told to go and wash hands, and then he's using the hands to walk. How can you imagine? And then when he walks with his hands, they are going to be that again. Because as others which we are not disabled and those which we are not having problems, we are having hands, eyes, legs to do some work. So when we get money, we may help others which they don't have power, they, they are disabled, they cannot do work and this makes the end. Thank you. Now you have seen what you have done. Why don't you bring your child to TAPS? Until next time. Bye. bye.